just I'm showing that no matter what, there's no situation that Jesus cannot take you through and save you from. Um, from this whole thing with James. I mean, in John 16:33, take heart, for I've overcome the world. In uh, this skit, I was lust showing to somebody to get the person away from Jesus. It was a girl, and um, <laughs> lust is actually terrible to rip families and rich groups apart. 50% of all teens, 15 to 19, have had a sex at least once before graduating high school. Um, my verse is 1 Peter 2.11, and it says to abstain from fleshly lust, because it wages war against the soul. I played the role of Vanity. Um, basically, my role represents all the fashion magazines and people in Hollywood that are telling you the lies that you have to look a certain way to be beautiful. Well, what we have to remember is that um, God made us in his image, so we don't have to change for anybody. A verse that goes to that is um, Genesis 1.27, uh, for we are made in his image, um, in the image of God who created them, man and woman. Um, in this get, I play the role of greed, and greed is something that we struggle with every day. It's a constant fight for wanting more money or power or even the newest iPhone or biggest, a bigger house. Um, but America itself spends $1.2 trillion a year on non-essential items. And in America, uh, 2 million people sleep on the streets a night. So um, a Bible verse is 1 Timothy 6, 17 through 18. And it says, command all those who are rich with things of this world not to be proud. And tell them to hope in God, not in uncertain riches. God richly gives us everything to enjoy. And tell the rich people to do good and to be rich in doing good deeds and to be generous in what you share. I play the role of alcohol. And um, by age 18, 70% of people will have had at least one alcoholic beverage. And Ephesians 5.18 says, And be not drunk with wine, wherein, it, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. I play the role of drugs. Um, the younger a person is when they begin using drugs, the more likely they are to develop, to develop an abuse problem and the more likely they are to relapse and turn to him. Drugs can affect every one of your body's systems. You can have permanent brain damage, heart attacks, strokes, palpitations, all of which can lead to death. 1 Corinthians 6, 19-20 say, Don't you realize that your body is a sacred place, the place of the Holy Spirit? Don't you see that you can't live however you please, squandering what God takes and time price for? The physical part of you is not some piece of property belonging to the spiritual part of you. God owns the whole thing. So let people see God in and through you. Because he turned 